Hello there watchy people, how's it going? Welcome back to a lake. Um, you joined me back where we left off last time. Just uh, driving around the uh, the lake, in fact. The lake in question. Uh, we got a parcel to drop off over the other side. We seem to have uh, inherited a job as a male person. I don't really know why. I guess we're covering, supposed to be covering from my dad while he's on holiday. But yeah, it's a bit of a weird situation really. I've never really heard it. I guess it does happen in small places like this. Right, West Lake Road. It's a motel. Awesome. Right, what's happening here then? 400 Lake Road. Oh, is... What? 400 Lake Road, yep, yeah, we'll take that. It's lighter than I thought. We'll leave the cat behind. Man, every box is lighter than she thinks. Are we just delivering cardboard boxes? Is this our job? Hello, sir. Parcel for you. All right. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but just leave it on the desk. Walk away, woman. Honestly. One minute. I'm busy. Okay, sir. <laughs> Is that a parcel for me? Yes, sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. You're welcome. <laughs> just walk away. Come on. What a rude, rude man. Can I, can I take the parcel back? Apparently I can talk to him again. I don't know why I'd want to, though. Uh, there's a exit the other side. That's cool. Just drive straight through. There we go. Right, all the way around. I don't know why she took the cat out of the van. Like every time. Maybe the cat will die if I don't get there in time. Didn't even think about that. Oh yeah, by the way, we have a cat. Um, at the end of the last episode, we picked up. Uh, a mad old cat lady's uh, cat, and we're taking it to the vet. Used to think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Spanner Dam. Visited Hoover Dam. I'd like to visit Hoover Dam. I, d I don't know uh, how big it really is. Lots of places I'd like to go. Not many places I wouldn't like to go, to be honest. Right. Let's take in the views. Oh look, some wheat. That's that looks like it needs harvesting. Wonder if we're allowed to harvest the wheat. Oh, there is a farmhouse down there. So it looks like we will be delivering to there at some point. Well, so far there's no sign of any like um Oh we come all the way around, that's cool. No sign of any um vets or anything. It's around there. The Vets is the one that's literally out on the water. I never even noticed this place existed before. Okay. Take a left. This looks cool. I hope we get to go for a boat ride someday. Wait. Where's the package? What? There. Whoa. That was weird. <laughs> I don't know why she didn't remember that. Uh, it's closed. Where's the door going to be? Is it going to be up there or up here? Let's try this one first, shall we? Well, actually, the speech bubble is quite far away, so I'm going to guess it's up here. So, is the person out fishing? Yeah, they're out fishing. Hello, fisherman. Can you throw this cat in the lake for me, please? Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I yeah. remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What now I get into trouble when I'm this high. Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well, 
Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Barry. Apparently it's Mortimer. Hmm, I'm calling him Barry, though. Mort? Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been... No, he's a little cattish. Again? I'm not sure you're a very good vet. Um... To be honest, I have no idea. Even I know that that's a cat, not a slug. With me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Everyone seems pretty clean to get keen to get rid of me. Can't blame him, to be honest. Just want to be left alone to do their thing. All those fish, look. Wow. I do want to go in the boat, though. I really do, really do want to go in the boat. Is it a rental? Looks like it is. A little trawler there, fishing trawler. Looks a bit big for this lake. It's not a very big lake. Right. Bit of a long walk uh, along the uh, thing there, at least at the speed that we walk. Okay, head back into town, do the rest of the day's deliveries, and we will be sorted. I guess we're gonna have to pick up the cat tomorrow morning. I wonder if we can just like pretend that it's not a thing and just not do it. Seems like the sort of thing that you would be allowed to do in this game. She worried me then when she didn't know where the package was. I mean, it's not a package as a cat, but you think that uh, that's one of the one of the job requirements is being able to tell the difference between a package and a cat. Okay, here we go. How we get a letter for here? Two oh five. There's some postcards in there. People on their holidays, like me. Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations. Or. Like, just trying to inform you that Mr. Clover has passed away. <laughs> I don't know who Mr. Clover is. Apologies if your name is Clover, I was not talking about you. It'd be a bit freaky, wouldn't it? Just randomly pick a name out of the air and somebody's watching, that's their name. They're like, what? <laughs> uh, okay. The Flick Shack. Uh, interesting. Where are we? Main Street. Only one on Main Street. So, yeah, that's going to be you. It would be really, really helpful if they had their... Oh, look, they got back to the future. Oh, back back to the present. Intriguing. Huh, okay. What other films have we got going on here? Uh, only the Master could teach in the secrets of the old ones. Look who's here to save us all. I can't see that one. Some sort of Ghostbusters rip-off. Oh, the Kung Fu Kid. Gremlins. Oh, I love Gremlins. Have they got Gremlins too? The old batch. Uh, Space Wars. Man, there's some real cool ones. Can I get? Can I rent a movie? Mare Man. I like that. Yeah, he's not super. He's Mare. Blade Jogger. This is this is very cool. Repo Woman. All right. Hello. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on. You're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. Uh, rude. <laughs> is that a compliment? Trust me, it definitely is. Well, oh. thank you then. Okay. Hello. Name's Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Oh, the maze. Angie. I love the maze. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Puppets by uh, the Moo Pets. Um... Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ghost Blasters, that's who I it was. I have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. 
So your dream was to rent out videotapes? Not a dream, per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. True. Might as well watch a flick, right? Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is everything. It is. Nothing quite tickles the imagination. Like what are the films we got here? Schwartz World in the thermometer. Mm, maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. You can the tell just by looking. Always rings twice. <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Maybe we should get dinner sometime. She's but totally into touche, me. Angie. She is totally into me. Uh. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty see what she of did there. regardless. Okay. Flick shack. Well, it was flick nice in the shack. You, Miss Half price over there. Same here, Miss Meredith. She's totally a romantic interest, isn't she? I'm going to have to choose between uh, dating her or dating the dude on the bear ranch. Or bear... What is it called? Whatever the bear thing was. Uh, come on in, we have new arrivals. Excellent. VHS and Betamax. Excellent. Betamax is the superior format, don't you know? Just got outdone by VHS. Same deal with HD DVD. I think it was supposedly uh, better. Right. Letter for y'all. And then one more package and we're done for the day. How about that? I'm quite getting into this, you know. It's a nice little... Like, there's nothing spectacular going on and I quite, quite like that. 402 Pine Street. Uh, 402 Pine Street. What have we got for you then, 402 Pine Street? I wish I could. I was allowed to deliver the wrong parcels. That would be amazing. Hmm, I like that, I thought. <laughs> she didn't say it this time. I think this is the first time she's picked up a box and... Uh, not said anything. I'm going to guess they're not in. Oh, they are in. We have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. What if she said deny? Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Good luck sure. with that. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. No, you didn't. Wait, what? Meredith? That... Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Who are you? What? For real? You don't recognize your old <laughs> friend when you see her? Duh. Wait a minute. Kay? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Wow, I didn't expect to see you here. That makes two of us. Got me there. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. The cat. I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! She married Barry the Be cat. Right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. Found one. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel as so you am I. Even We're getting well. The whole challenger thing. Mm. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years, so... Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while, from Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is gonna have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now, at the diner. Huh? 
That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for something a very off about this conversation, isn't there? I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. Yeah. See you around, Em. Awkward. Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. Uh, it's a box. You can say that again. It's a round box. Okay. Weird. Return to the post office. Is that the sequel? Alright. Let's do it then. Uh, there's a round road, so I could have just kept going, but... Eh, I felt like turning around, so that's what we did. Pine Street. Whoa! Honestly. There was no crossing there. That's a jaywalking uh, offence. Cool, cool, cool. Here we are. Right. Should we watch more movies? Should we watch that movie tonight? Is it going to give us the option? Can we watch Postman? I think we should watch it. Get us uh, up in the favour of uh, Angie. Meredith, hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favour. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for Added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Uh, screw you. Think you can... No. Add it? Huh? No, I don't. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. I could just send it to your post office, right? Nope. I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Can I quit? Now let this marinate. I wanna quit now. Add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. <sighs> Screw you. I'm going to move back here and be a postman forever. It's clearly what's going to happen. Um, yeah, let's watch Postman Rose Rings twice. All right. Well, let's watch this. What does the postman ring? Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em. Hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. <laughs> Take care. Tess. I'm, I'm going to not do it. We're totally leaving that job. We should get, get try and get the sack intentionally. Right, what's our route today then? Um, yeah, same again, I think. Just a clockwise lap of the... Actually, if we do anti-clockwise, then we can uh, pick up the cat before we see the lady. That seems to make the most Wait, sense. No, wait, it's today. clockwise, isn't it? The floor is yours, Angie. Yeah, clockwise. Man, I'm real bad at that. Let's let's go this way, and we can do this package on the way. Duly noted, Angie. <laughs> now on to today's weather. Be kind of rewind. That's an awesome film, by the way. If you guys haven't seen that, uh, I don't know which house. I think it's this one. 102 Pine Street. Yeah. Be kind, rewind. So yeah, we do still get the uh, the radio announcer. That's good. What on earth did these folks order? I mean, it's a square box. Like you really wouldn't. You really wouldn't make comment on that, would you? Nope. No answer. Again, take a photo of it, nick it. Sorted. Sadly, the game doesn't let you do that. Not like real life, where you get away with it. Get caught on people's ring doorbells. They don't have those back then. This is VHS era, so this is the 90s, like early 90s maybe. Okay, let's pick up this damn cat. Meow. I 
I don't know why I'm coming back here. Like, it's not my responsibility. Should wait for a phone call or something. <laughs> I could. I really, really love a faster movement speed than this. That would be really nice. I guess it's the whole laid-back uh, feel of the town. Hi there, Mr. Mackey. How's Mortimer? Oh, you were not holding him a second ago. Mort's fine, as I expected. It was just a little indigestion. Good night's rest. Indigestion. Trout in the morning has done the little critter a world of good. Ow. Excellent. Miss Jenkins will be pleased. Let me take him off your hands. All right. Bye, Mort. Anything else, Miss Weiss? Enjoying yourself so far? Apart from some rude people. I'm having fun, yes. Well, that's good. I'm guessing I'll see you around a lot more, Miss Weiss. For sure, Mr. Mackey. Potentially. Have a nice day. I think you're a bit old for me, to be honest. Uh, come on, back we go. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Like, I'm assuming we are going to have to uh, make a choice between Angie and... Uh, the, the dude over at Bear Ranch, whose name I continuously forget. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. Whether you know which route we should take. Here we go. Is this one for the diner? Looks like it is for the diner. I'm going to check up on uh, Ashley, the domestic abuse victim. I am making a little bit of an assumption there, but it's probably not far off. Uh, I don't want you. Where are we? 500 Lake Road. That's the one we want. Go on, pick up. Huh, lighter than I thought it was. <laughs> Man, she said that so much on the first day that now... I'm thinking that that's what it's. Hi, Maureen. What she's gonna say, and she doesn't. How are you doing this fine day? Uh. Fine, I guess. Fine, she says. Now come on, let's pick up where we left off, shall we? And one piece of blueberry pie. Ashley, one yeah. blueberry pie. Meredith Wise, back in Providence Oaks. How's life treating you, darling? Well, I'm. I'm working. It's all right, actually. As a postman, rather than having a holiday. I delivered a package to Kay at her house earlier. Yeah, she told me. How did that go for you? I think I put my foot in it, to tell you the truth. I can imagine it can be a lot to take in. For the both of you. Especially after being away for so long. Then again, there are some things that never change, right? Well, this diner sure did. Glad you noticed. Uh. It looks so different from how I remember it. Yeah, I decided it was time for a change. Didn't feel the same after my stand died. World keeps turning. Gotta keep moving along with it, right? Oh my gosh, Maureen. Stan died? I'm so sorry. I, I had no idea. Thank you, darling. But it's really okay. It's been ten years already. Ten and a half, almost. Oh, boy, did I love that man. Oh, we've been married for so long. It hit me like a brick. But after a while, I decided that sadness wasn't the only emotion I was allowed to have. That's not what Stan would have wanted either. Sounds like you went through a lot. Thank you, hon. I do appreciate that. Anyway, you have to get back up. So I did. For me, but also for Kay. <sighs> she took her uncle's death pretty hard. I wish I'd known. Oh, sorry for dumping all that on you like that, darling. Gosh, <laughs> look at your face. I'm a bit surprised you didn't know. Didn't your parents tell you about it? Or Kay? I'm not sure. Oh, it's okay, hon. I honestly don't give a hoot about any blame game. We all have our lives to live, but Kay's been through a lot. 
<sighs> Nursed her uncle through his illness, helping me out. I think seeing you again shook her up a little, is all. She must have missed you during those days. I can imagine. It was good to see her again. I've missed her too. Then, it sounds like you know what to do. Listen, Meredith. Time marches on. And eventually, you realize it's marching across your face. Life's too short. That's exactly why I decided this place could do with a repurpose after Stan passed. Fresh start. It's been Moe's Diner ever since. And believe it or not, business is better than ever. That's great to hear, Maureen. Congratulations. Why, thank you kindly. And listen, you check in with me and Kay again soon, you hear? Don't forget about what's important in life. <laughs> Says the woman who forgot my blueberry pie. What the? Ashley? What happened to that pie? I really did want that I'm pie. So sorry, honey. <laughs> I swear that kid? <laughs> It's okay, Maureen. I have a feeling I'll be back soon anyway. Huh? I'll hold you to that. You bet. Bye, Maureen. Well, there we go. Sorry for being quiet through a lot of that. I thought it might be nice to just let the uh, let the dialogue play out. and uh, Especially when it's talking about, like, you know, people dying and stuff. It doesn't. It's not the kind of stuff that you feel is appropriate to joke about. So, uh, where are we going? That's the motel, South Crossroads. We don't have anything to deliver there. East Crossroads. Oh, it's fast travel. That's interesting. Huh, and there's also an autopilot. Let's try the autopilot, shall we? Oh. Uh, it won't... Place waypoint X. Okay, so I can't use autopilot to just anywhere. Let's, uh, that's a fast travel one. Go on, let's fast travel. Beautiful. No, I don't want to be going up there. Honestly, turning around in the road here, can't you see? Right, let's get this cat back then. Shame I couldn't um, fast travel all the way here. I could go like the other side, which is kind of a little annoying to be honest. Right, let's give this damn cat back. Get on with our lives. Uh, no, it's that house, isn't it? Yeah, it's down there. She's waiting outside for me again. Honestly, woman, get a life. Right. Did I see you had that cat in the back of your van? There we go. Look who's back. Mortimer! Oh, look at you! You're good as new! <coughs> yeah, Mr. Mackey did say not to feed him cupcakes. Hmm, I suppose he's right. It's, it's just that he likes them so much. Don't you, Mortimer? Bet he does. Anyway, thank you so much, Meredith. My pleasure. See you, Miss Jenkins. Call me Mildred, dear. Say goodbye to Meredith Mortimer. Meow. Excellent. Well, at least she uh, got my name right that time. I am called Meredith, right? So hard to keep track. My own name. Okay. Well, that seems like a really good place. Yeah, tell you what. Let's finish off this this delivery route because. It would be a shame. Oh, there's quite a lot to do, actually. There is quite a lot to do. Okay, we're going to leave it till next time then. Thank you very much for watching, people. I uh, appreciate you, as always. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, join me again next time uh, when we play another episode of Lake.